It is a rather cool Sunday. Today we're doing the dog walk cam. There's my dog Izzy. It's about five years old. Part collie, part something else. I thought for a subject today I would talk a little bit more about how I got into motorcycles. I already talked about the bikes that I own, so now I thought I'd talk a little bit about how I got my license, which actually the first year I was riding, I didn't actually have a license. I had talked to a bunch of my friends just before I purchased my motorcycle, and uh, some of them said they used to have motorcycle licenses. Some of them said they knew someone that had a motorcycle license because at the time, and it's probably still the same when you get your motorcycle learner's permit, you have to be under the supervision of somebody that has a motorcycle license. And I didn't at the time know anybody, so I asked around. Some friends said they used to, they didn't. So basically I was kind of stuck, and when I went and bought and picked up my motorcycle, I uh, had to bring it home without a license. And actually rode pretty much a whole riding season without a license and just kind of had to learn on my own going along which is not a real good way to learn but 31 years ago it was a little more rural area especially out west of where I live there was a lot less traffic so you had the opportunity to learn and make some minor mistakes and not really have to pay for them very badly now would be a quite a different subject because it's kind of like a lot of communities that are suburbs of big cities, it's gotten kind of built up. There's a lot more traffic. And a lot more people driving crazy to have to deal with. But anyway, I picked up the motorcycle. The guy explained the controls to me. I'd never really been that familiar with even riding any kind of equipment like a motorcycle. Dog's looking at something over there. But I usually could pick things up pretty fast. I've had experience driving tractors, I've operated a end loader, even done a little bit operating a backhoe, and usually I could catch on pretty quickly. Although I wouldn't say I was ever very proficient at the backhoe. But I could probably, if somebody explained the controls, I could probably jump on it and dig a hole. Just take a little bit longer. But anyway, for about a year, I had to drive around just kind of making mistakes and stuff having some close calls and fortunately not having to having to really have any accidents or anything and then me and my buddy went down to take our test now the way the tests are set up now they're kind of structured when you go to take your test in Illinois at least they've got a rectangle that's kind of a structured area where you take your test in and you have to do all your maneuvers and stuff within this little area and you have to keep in the little paths. But at the time I was taking my test, about the only thing structured they had that pretty much everybody did was cones that were about 12 foot apart. And probably a lot of the other states have the same thing too, but that's about all we had really that was pretty much mandatory. The other stuff you could do or you didn't necessarily have to do depending on what the instructor wanted to show you. Um, they could ask for a figure eight. They could ask for you just to ride around in circles for as long as they wanted to, so that you could demonstrate you were proficient. Uh, shifting, they could ask for upshifts, downshifts. Um, pretty much all the instructors asked for the shifting and demonstrating that your brakes worked. But a lot of it was just, other than the cones, it was just up to what the instructor wanted to test you on. And so, I talked to a friend of mine at work about the end of the time when I was getting ready to take my test. I did meet a friend at work, although he lived too far away to ride with me, but he told me by mistake that the cones were 10 foot apart. So I set up at work these milk jugs, and man, the first two or three times going through them on my motorcycle, that was a pain. Kept knocking them down and knocking into them, but I just kept practicing and practicing and practicing with the uh, milk jugs 10 foot apart and then I got pretty good at it and boy you wouldn't believe when I got to take my test and those cones were 12 foot apart it seemed like I had all the room in the world wasn't any problem with it whatsoever 
So that's a little hint for anybody if you still use the cones, which is part of the test, they still use it here in Illinois. If they ever use the cones, find out how far they are apart, make them about a foot or two closer. And believe me, when you go to take your test, it's gonna seem like a breeze. And that was actually the hardest part of the test, really, was the cones. Uh, the braking and the shifting wasn't really much of any kind of problem. Oh, but one thing too, I, I didn't get to uh, take the test on my own motorcycle. I got there, and at the time, and I think they still do it now, you uh, had to show your registration. And I had my motorcycle, and my buddy brought his, and I didn't bring my registration, so my buddy had his registration with him. And that's the same guy I talked about in one of my previous videos, that he had the Honda 400 just like I did, so at least I didn't have to try to learn a new type of bike because our bikes were pretty much identical other than his was a year newer but yeah I ended up uh, taking the test on his bike I got to go first and then he went second and I think he did pretty much the same thing I did too I don't think he had anybody to ride with so I think for the first riding season he pretty much just uh, rode on a permit and was hoping to not get stopped which he didn't either so we both were just very fortunate for about a year but, uh, let's see, I lost my train of thought. Well, that's not unusual. I'll think and pick it up in a minute. Well, anyway, I did end up, we both ended up passing our tests. And, uh, we also thought, too, we were wondering when we both showed up for our tests if they were going to ask, since we both obviously just had our permits and we were taking our tests to get our motorcycle license we were both thinking uh oh what are we going to do if they ask us we're somebody that has a motorcycle license so but they didn't fortunately they didn't so basically we just relied on a lot of dumb luck to get us by for the first year i'd never recommend that for anybody learning to ride maybe if you lived in a rural area you could get away with it but boy dangerous to learn that way. It's better to be with somebody to get some experience. <laughs> 